Hello Pisces, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you stopped by. Thank you. Hope everyone's doing well and I'm so glad you've come to visit. This is a love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. General reading like a buffet table. Take what's yours and leave the rest behind. And we are cutting the deck now. It's a timeless reading published in the first week of September. All right. Oh, nine, nine of Pentacles energy. I like it. Okay, let's take a little peek here. Okay, <laughs> so let's see what we have. The mutual energy between you and your love interest is Capricorn energy, mommy energy, somebody who's very grounded, a relationship that's very grounded. The energy between you is grounded. You may even work together. It's kind of a serious energy. All right, very nurturing, Capricorn. Ooh, look at that, 10 of coins. Virgo energy, Virgo energy. Wow, what's going on, Pisces? Virgo is your seventh house on the astrology wheel. This is a beautiful energy of really working together. It's a marriage card. It's a legacy marriage card of two self-made people creating wealth and abundance and security for their family and each other. All right, working hard. How does your person view the situation right now? Well, they are studying the situation. They are very serious about this study. It's Gemini energy. And the reason I say they're very serious about this, they're willing to take a risk on the relationship is this page is barefoot walking across the sword between two mountains. There's a waterfall. And they're looking for enlightenment with a book in their hands. Well, multitasking, typical Gemini, right? So I don't know if that, it's Gemini energy. It doesn't mean you're dealing with a Gemini, but they might have it in their chart. Your person is really looking for answers. It looks like they're researching you on the internet. It also represents all kinds of communication, electronic communication. All right, so how do they view you? Let's see what we have here. How do they view you, Pisces? Oh, they view you as someone who is struggling, someone who is having some difficulties that are probably not too serious, but that you may be struggling in your work environment. There may be competition. There may be egocentric fighting. It looks like it's difficult, though. Five of Wands is not serious conflict. I mean, unless it gets really out of control, which here it looks like it is, but... So they see as maybe a little argumentative Pisces, but that isn't really Pisces energy. All right, so let's look and see how they feel in their heart space. Will they love you, Pisces? Queen of Cups energy, they love you, love you. How do they view this situation? How do they want to move the relationship forward? Oh, Pisces, there you are in your reading. Ta-da, happily ever after. That's what they want with you. They feel as though they might have competition from other people, though that you are not necessarily into them, that you feel maybe conflicted about the relationship. What is the mutual hidden energy in this relationship? Queen of Wands. You both love the passion. Pisces, Pisces. The Queen of Wands is, is about the intrigue, the fun, the eroticism, the success that you feel when you can seduce somebody make a really firm connection. The Queen of Wands is the one queen who is not as stable as the others. This is somebody who lives in their heart space, who focuses on, you know, what, they're, what they want. What is Spirit recommending? Ooh, Seven of Swords, be careful is what Spirit is recommending. There's dishonesty in the relationship. Seven of Swords also could imply the other woman in a relationship. We have two queens here. Whenever we get the Queen of Wands and another queen, well, we have the Queen of Cups also. So we've got multiple people here. We have multiple people here in your person's heart space. So it does look like this person may not be completely loyal to you or you them. What is the outcome at this time in the near future? Ooh, time alone. Searching for answers. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo interesting energy virgo is a problem solver of the zodiac searching for answers searching for enlightenment is what this what's happening right now also searching to see if there's any lying or any mischief 
but spirit says that this this is a risky situation you need to be really careful all right so let's go ahead and clarify the energy here pisces so why do we have the knight of pentacles energy for our pisces friends as the overall energy for the reading Eight of Swords. It's a lot of inner conflict. There's a lot of in the head energy. Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords. Not feeling free to move forward. Somebody could be married here too. Because, you know, we've got this could be the cheater queen or the mistress or the other woman. This can be competition to a marriage. These are the different women involved could be secrecy okay so anyway you take what resonates like the buffet table okay so what else do we have Pisces okay I don't like that card page of cups the problem with the page of cups in this particular card is if you look you can see a pig with wings and pigs don't fly so it really speaks to the fact that there is self-imposed limitation because it looks like there's nothing available for a long-term commitment here Pisces, why do we have the Queen of Pentacles? Okay, being very strategic. The Aries Emperor with no new beginning. Okay, so that looks like a very husbandly card to me. So the Capricorn Queen might be married to the Emperor. And there's no new beginning. You might be the Emperor. Okay, why is the Ten of Coins here? The two of you probably work together is what I'm getting. Ah, it does look like a very successful cycle in your relationship is closing out and you are at a crossroads. The two of you have to make a decision about your relationship. I really feel that this is a third party situation. Either that or both of you are married. Because we have two marriage cards here. We have two marriage people here. We have the other woman. Pisces, Pisces. Okay, so leave comments below because as I do these readings, it really helps me know what's going on with you guys, how this resonates. Okay, so what is the choice that has to be made for our Pisces friends? Ooh, to let go. Ah, ooh, look at this. It looks like in the past, neither of you really considered a beginning with each other. It looks like you've been very strategic in the relationship. Why do we have the Page of Swords? What is the story with the Page of Swords? Watching each other's social media. Boy, you're emotionally vest invested more than you think. Or you probably know. Oops. Your person's more invested in your Pisces than you think they are. I got a lot of cards. Look at this. I'm, just, I'm not going to keep this in the reading, but the Ten of Swords is a betrayal with the Aries Queen. We've got the Emperor up there, so there's a lot of Aries energy. There's something about not wanting to be discovered, not really nurturing the relationship, feeling like it's very thorny, not actually wanting the player energy, wanting actually to have something more stable here. So you have two people who are not really grieving, but they're not doing anything to help. There's no truth, there's no talking, there's no communication. Very challenging energy here, Pisces, because both of you are hung up on each other. Okay, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? You're both invested, but especially your person. Your person may be more invested than you. Yeah, your person wants to make an offer. So we have knights here. So one person could be married. You know, it just has, take it as it resonates, but it does look like there are multiple... There's a lot of people here on the board. Lots, two knights. Three of swords, there we go, third party situation, okay. Why is the five of wands here? Why is this five of wands here, Pisces? Oh, six of wands, Leo energy. Okay, Aries in the house, Leo in the house. Ooh, hoo, hoo. 
your person wants an egocentric victory. They want people fighting over them. All right, so I'm beginning to think your person is this Queen of Wands energy, secret energy. Why does your person love you so much, Pisces? There's no competition in their mind. You're the only one they want. But they feel as though you're willing to have lots of competition for you. Ace of Coins, wow, there's a substantial offer in their heart space. Ace of Coins is a desire to, it's a ring. If there's an, an engagement set, which is the Three of Cups and the Ace of Coins adjacent in a reading, usually indicates engagement. So we see a desire in their heart space to offer a ring. The Sun card says that there's some delayed gratification and it's reverse. The Four of Cups reverse says that your person doesn't know if they can hold out. They want this love with you, Pisces. They are in love with you. Okay. So Pisces, why is this mutual energy of the Queen of Wands here? Something that you worry about. This attraction is something that gets you all up in your head, but both of you have decided to just chill out. The Eight of Swords reversed is not being restricted, not worrying so much, getting out of your head. It's the early stages of just being able to handle things. Two of Coins juggling, Two of Coins, Three of Swords, classic. So one of, if both of you are married, one of you will probably get divorced or is newly divorced because I get the judgment card and that's usually the judgment of divorce. Spirit is saying that you should look at things from a different perspective. There's a lot you don't see right now. There's things that you don't know. There's things that you haven't been told, Pisces. Look at that again. That Knight of Swords energy rushing forward to speak. It does look like you're not in contact right now. Why is the Knight of Swords here with the Hermit card? Why is the Knight of Swords with the Hermit card? You know what the truth is. You want to speak your truth is what I'm getting here. Both of you want to speak your truth. Both of you want to talk to each other. Two Aces, very interesting energy. Not feeling defensive anymore. Not feeling as though you really want to get into any sort of ego-driven kind of conflicts. The Ace. Oh, wow. The Queen of Wands reversed. Now, the Queen of Wands reversed is kind of wicked. Queen of Wands energy reversed. Ah, uh, Somebody doesn't want to be the Queen of Wands. Somebody wants a stable relationship here. Somebody wants a marriage. The two of you, you don't want to feel defensive. You want to be able to tell your truth. You want to be able to declare the truth that you love each other. Oh, that is, it's a tough one. Okay. So why else do we have the page of cups here? I really want to know that. Ah, oh, see, both of you don't really, the overall energy here is that you don't believe in the relationship. You don't really think that this can come to fruition. So we're going to look at the wisdom of the Oracle. Tell us about this relationship because both of you are really feeling it for each other and yet this was not in the master plan. Things went sideways. You fell in love. You weren't supposed to fall in love. That's what it looks like to me. Oh no, we'll just have fun. Mm, hard to do. Easy to say though, right? Easy to say when you don't know what you're doing or you don't know the person very well. Mending. Okay. So the relationship is going to go through a period of healing. And there was something about this relationship in which both of you mended your hearts from other heartbreaks or previous heartbreaks. Yang energy, a lot of masculine energy here, a lot of almost, almost like power and control sort of arguments or ego-driven conflict. Lots of sexy energy though, that is powerful energy with the Queen of Wands, the Emperor. The Six of Wands is Leo energy. Okay. So we are seeing, to be fair, you're both trying to be fair to each other. 
you both feel as though the union is blessed so once again we're going from a relationship that was kind of a sexy adventurous fling to a real thing all right so let's see what we have what do we have for the ancestors advice for you Spirit is telling you that there's a lot to consider here. So let's go down and ask Spirit to help us pull these cards of ancestral advice. Broken arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. No, drop the ego. Drop the ego. You're going to need to drop the ego to find the right answers here in this situation. Medicine Mother, honor your inner knowing. Okay. Let's look and see where you're at in your love journey. Because whenever I get the Three of Swords, I really like to dig in a little bit. Because, you know, that's... We don't plan on falling. I say we. No, I don't mean that exactly. But people don't have affairs because something isn't wrong. Shakti, you're trying to learn about love. Something that you don't know. And it shows that... This is a spiritual time in your life when you learn more about love and a burning hero. Oh, wow. Lots of fire again. I feel as though both of you might have abandonment issues or something that went wrong in childhood that made you really, you know, really need the attention of others. And yet now you've fallen in love. Shifting universe. Yep. You have fallen in love and you're sort of you just feel like you've gotten a thump on the on the noggin by the universe making this kind of painful all right so let's look and see what we have for the high priestess wisdom oracle oracle of the light priestess of the light oracle okay say it right donna wings of light becoming something new there we go that's why Spirit put the two of you together so that you can transcend deep emotions, unknown feelings, past life influences, past life relationship. Wow. Okay, adjustment, looking back and moving forward. Okay, so there you have it. You know, this is, I don't think this story is even, uh, I don't think we've hit more than part of the iceberg here. So I think that Pisces, thank you so much for your time. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you like the video, I thank you so much for watching, and I appreciate your time. Thank you.